The world of art as we know it is expanding. Gone are the days of antiquity, where the possession of art was a symbol of status and power, and the execution of art was a symbol of poverty. In this age, many have adopted art as a hobby. We in the know refer to these individuals as Sunday painters. Yet, there are still a chosen few that may refer to themselves as professional artists. Here we have Jimmy. Jimmy dreams of one day becoming a professional artist. Say, what are you drawing there, Jimmy? Gee, that's swell. You have a good eye for space, value, and line. You have successfully captured your subject. But don't celebrate just yet, Jimmy. You still have a long way to go before you reach the rank of professional. We'll check in on you later, Jimmy. Our authority for this movie is the man known to a great many as one of the leading professional artists in the United States, Hal Cooper. Mr. Cooper is the author of the book, Art for Monkeys. He is also the founder of the Cooper School of Art and Surfing in Cleveland. As a top flight professional artist, Mr. Cooper has devoted a great deal of his time toward the encouragement of the amateur artist like our friend Jimmy. In this capacity, Mr. Cooper has served as the president of the National Amateur Artists Association of America. He also is the founder and president of the National Nose Tweakers and Bird Watcher Society and, well, his modesty requires us to stop here. The only additional thing we need to say about Mr. Cooper is that he will be giving some demonstrations so that even kids like Jimmy can grow up to be the next Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, or Hal Cooper. The basic fundamentals of art are line, shape, tone, space, and perspective. You'll first need to master those. After mastering the fundamentals, be sure to forget all of them. To reach professional status, one must throw out all technical skill and embrace the artist statement. An artist statement is the most important tool in an artist's arsenal. The artist statement is the artist's way of telling the viewer how to feel about their work. Much like the modern Zeppelin, the artist statement is the most efficient and lasting vehicle to carry the artist's thoughts to the viewer. Without it, the viewer would be in an endless state of confusion. Think of the art as a cause of stress and the artist statement as a nice, smooth Newport cigarette. The entire purpose of the art piece itself is to sit snugly next to the artist statement. Remember, if the layman appreciates a piece of art, then it isn't professional grade. Quality art should never speak for itself and only be understood by the most savvy of collectors and critics. Now let's check back in on our pal Jimmy. How's it going, Jimmy? I have no idea what that is. Good going, Jimmy, and don't forget the artist's statement. <laughs>